Hannah. I'm Jalen. I'm Kirat. Reading is a good hobby. It makes learning enjoyable and fun. Yes, it does, Hannah. And this time we meet again with EF for you. Enjoy and F for fun. So enjoy and have all the fun. And together with us is our friend P E N T O Bento. Bento loves to learn, so he learns alright. Bento loves to read. I love reading. There are many stories. It is really interesting, especially fiction. I like stories. They are exciting to read. The funny ones are good too. They make me laugh and I remember the funny ones with happy endings very well. Sometimes I dare not go to the toilet at night, especially after reading. Ghost stories. <laughs> Jalen, what are you doing? Searching for the meaning of the word fiction. Jalen, read aloud so that I can get to know the meaning too. Alright, here it is. It means something which is invented, imaginary, assumed or unreal, as in stories or novels. Hmm, so something imaginary, like a witch. Shh, silence please. This is a library. Shh. Let's go over there. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a very naughty little girl whose greatest wish was to become a witch. Not a good little witch. No, but a bad little witch. Ha! When I become a witch, I shall make all kinds of spells. Ooh, what fun I shall have playing tricks. <laughs> One day, she found a book which said quite clearly that in order to become a clever little witch, it was necessary to wear a witch costume. I can soon arrange that. She ran into the attic and from an old trunk, she took some ancient clothes, which she turned into a lovely witch costume. Not only will I be a bad little witch, I will also be and a bad looking one. That's it. And now to work. I of a toad. Yeah. A slimy worm. Yeah. Dirty old socks. Yuck. Rotten food. Uh, 
double, double, toil and trouble, fire bird and put bubbles. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burns and put bubbles. Oh, what's happening? What have I done? The cups, coffee pots, spoons and brooms were all beginning to dance and jump around the little witch. So you think you are a witch? So you think you are a witch? Stop us then if you think you can. As the little girl did nothing to put right, what was wrong? The crockery started to bump into her. On her head, on her arm, on her bum. Ouch! That hurts! Stop the spell! Stop the spell! Where is the spell book? Where is the spell book? Ah! Here it is! The little girl pronounced the magic words to put an end to the magic spell. Touch by magic smoke and spell all the mess of pots and pans. Return to what's before at hand upon the count of one and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All was quiet and still. Is it over? Is it over? Is it really, really over? Have they stopped? No more spells for me! Wow! Make it if I'm a witch. I can fly, I can do anything with my magical wand and my powers! Curious, <laughs> stop it! Nobody, just like the witches in the stories do. That's for sure. We mustn't harm anyone. There are many animal stories too. They are definitely my favourites. Like these stories. Deep in the forest, there lived a frog. This frog was very fond of fruits. One day, he came upon a banana tree beside a river. There was a large bunch of red bananas growing on it. He tried to climb up the tree, but he slipped and fell. Just then, a monkey came along. He was swinging from one tree to another merrily when he saw the bunch of ripe bananas. Bananas, bananas, what luck! Mmm, absolutely delicious, said the monkey while stuffing himself with bananas. Hi there, Mr. Monkey. Could you pluck a banana for me, please? Asked the frog. The monkey looked down at the frog with a cheeky grin. He said, Well, hello to you too, Mr. Froggy. If you want a banana, come up and pluck it yourself. Oh, I wish I could. But I can't climb trees. I can only swim. Croak, croak. Well, it's just too bad if you can't climb trees. You really are to learn then. Oh, please, do let me have a banana. Alright, here, has this. The next day, there was a storm. And it flooded the forest. At this time, the monkey was hiding on top of a tree. He was very frightened. In his hurry to get to safety, the monkey caught hold of a rotten branch. Oh, I'm falling into the river. Help me, help me. I can't swim, I can't swim. Please, please help me. 
I, I, I can get to the rubber bang. Grok, 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 grok. But I can't swim. I can only climb trees. As you told me before, it's just too bad, isn't it? You really ought to learn then. I'm sorry for being mean to you the other day. Please help me or I'll surely drown. Please. Quick, jump off the tree trunk or you'll go over the waterfall. The monkey jumped into the water, but the swift current carried him towards the waterfall. Quick, grab the overhanging branch. Whoa, whoa. The monkey caught hold of the branch and he was safe at last. Grok, yeah. grok. Grok, grok. Later, the monkey thanked the frog for helping him. Thank you, frog. He promised never to insult anyone again. Incy wincy spider climbing up the spout. Carrot, wake up! Wake up! Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and it dried up all the rain. And the incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <coughs> Once upon a time, in a park, there was a huge tree beside a quiet stream. On this tree lived two spiders who were friends. One of them was called Christina and the other Twina. Christina was a very hard-working spider. She had spun a strong web between two huge branches of the tree. Then she looked for tiny insects and caught them for food. Um, 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 um. Tweena was different. She did not like to work. She could sleep for hours. She lived in an incomplete web, but it did not bother her at all. One day, Christina spoke to Twila. Twila, why don't you complete your own web? Then you will have your very own home. Twila replied, Christina, I do not need my own web. This is a huge tree. I can move to whichever branch I want to be my home. As the days passed by, Christina continued to work hard. <sighs> Twila was sleeping most of the time. <sighs> she only looked for food when she awoke from her slumber and felt hungry. Months went by, and soon the monsoon winds brought about a change in the weather. Dark grey clouds filled the once clear blue sky. One day, a strong gust of wind blew across the park. All oh, the branches were swaying. Two 
when fro Christina hid herself in her strong web that was well protected by the thick branches and leaves of the tree. Trina's web was blown away. She tried to run for shelter, but it was too late. The great force of the wind sent Trina flying through midair. With a thud, she landed on a heap of dry leaves on the ground. Phew! What a relief! I am still. <gasps> In one piece! As Twila sat on the ground, thoughts rattled in her head. Why did this happen to me but not to Christina? I could have been killed! Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> Suddenly, Twila began to see. She could see her own laziness. Christina had been warning her all along, but she had not paid any attention to her advice. Without wasting any time, she climbed up the main track. After looking at some branches, she found a perfect corner and began to spin a very strong web. She kept on spinning until she found herself working so hard and felt good about it. Well, no more laziness. The next morning, Christina was surprised to find Twila waking up so early. She started to hunt for insects and even had leftovers for another day. Never again will she be the old lady Twila. Instead, I'm a hard-working spider, I spin my web all day. I hunt and catch my dinner, and still have time for play. I wake up every morning very early with the sun, and I will keep on working until the day is done. journey with Pento in my dream with that spider. What dream? This toy spider is my favorite toy which I use to play some tricks on my friends. A real spider has only eight legs but this toy spider has ten legs. Don't you see it's a toy spider? <laughs> Bento and I met the spider, a really huge one. It told us a story. What? Pento, you, a spider, told you a story? Ha! It's not funny, you know. Maybe he should have met a dragon instead of a spider. <laughs> like famous dragon stories from China. Ha! <laughs> You me, just like our Sun Kanjil stories from Malaysia. That reminds me of Imelda. She won the storytelling competition last year. She told a story about a dragon. Right, Panto? <laughs> One day, there was a young man called Tumpy. His father was dying. Before he died, he gave Tumpy a small gift and nothing else. Little did his son know that this small gift could
could change his life in the future. It was a small bag. It had nothing in it but a very clear smell. Tumpy sniffed. Then he sneezed. And he began to laugh. <laughs> without in the least knowing what he was laughing at. After that, he looked so happy that people started calling him Happy Tumpy. HT for short. The next day, HT set out to seek his fortune. He climbed the highest mountain. He sailed seven seas. And after a time, he came to a town. Why did he look so much afraid? He asked politely. The dragon is coming! But if any man could kill it, he would soon make his fortune. The king would give him a bag of gold and make the princess marry him. Said a man who wore a butcher's apron. HT did not run away. The butcher then ran into a shop and threw a large piece of meat out the window. There was now nothing in the street. But HT and the piece of meat. <sighs> fire! Fire! Fire came out of its nose when it blew out. He took out his bag, untied the string, and threw it down before the dragon. When it got up to the bag, it stopped. Then it sniffed. She didn't feel afraid of it anymore. So they went along in search for the king. At last, they came to the great big palace. I want the bag of gold and the princess. But you haven't killed the dragon yet, said the king. The dragon is my friend. He won't do any harm now. Here is the bag of gold. You can marry my daughter because you're a very brave and courageous lad. And you can have my crown as well. Then HT married the princess right away. HT used the bag all his life to keep the dragon happy. Achoo! Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> wow, we had a F fantastic time and E exciting time. F full of fun. Just read as many books as you can, especially story books. Reading can be done, stories give us fun. So just take your time, choose the books you want, read out word by word. Reading will be done, anytime, all around, anywhere you want. Don't forget your computer, the internet, go to websites, just like Panto and all of us love to do. Hey, Panto's already at the internet searching for... Next with E F for you. <laughs> I like stories. They are E exciting to read. Just read as many books as you can. E especially story books. There are many F famous stories that you can read. Just go to the library. I use a dictionary 
to find the meaning of the word F fiction. <laughs> this spider is my F favorite toy. Reading is a good hobby. It makes learning E enjoyable and F fun. The toy spider is on Kirat's F face. Hope e every one of you had a f fantastic time with all of us. Bento. Reading can be done. Stories give us fun. So just take your time. Choose the books you want. Read out word by word. Reading will be done. It's time to say goodbye. Pento loves to learn.